G'day, welcome back. Uh, today a quick update on the Golf and a little job. Uh, in New Zealand, cars older than, well, registered before 2001 or older than 2001, they have six monthly warrant of fitness safety inspections and the Golf was due a few weeks ago or a week ago and it failed. Uh, here's the check sheet. Now your warrant covers all the sensible things like uh, brake, brake efficiency, brake leaks, seat belts, suspension, lights, glazing, rust, tires, reasonable stuff. Takes about half an hour, costs anywhere from 20 bucks to 50 bucks or whatever. Uh, and I failed on the right front brake hose uh, that's bulging, separating at the holder. So I don't mind failing warrants on things like that. Uh, Scotty Kim would go nuts probably. Don't want the government interfering when running ropey cars, but yeah, so had to replace the brake lines. Uh, now obviously it's the project car, we're gonna be putting a bit more power in here. Gonna be doing a few upgrades, so uh, why not put some braided stainless steel hoses in? Uh, as you saw when I went to the track, the brakes kind of got pretty warm. Uh, they didn't fade at all, they kept going, but they got warm, the centers melted out the wheels, the whole thing was covered in brake dust, so probably wise to put something decent in there. And given the car's 18 years old, gonna replace a whole lot, replace them all with stainless hoses. Okay, so I live here, Sefton, a little village in the middle of nowhere, population of 276 in 1886. Not sure it's changed too much recently. Uh, so the best place to get brake lines. Well, let's zoom out, see where we can find some brake lines. So that's middle of the South Island, the rest of New Zealand. There's that wide brown land, Australia. Head on over. How about the UK? That's probably a good place for brake lines. Yeah, lots of hills and faster speed limits, so <coughs> where do we end up? Come down the end of the M5, we end up in a place called Dawlish, and that's where DAG Hose Supplies live. Now he, Dave Goodlip, DAG Hose Supplies, he sells via eBay, top guy, uh, he knows exactly what he's on about. <coughs> he's got a business making hoses in Dawlish, he's a agent for hell hoses turns out all the hell lines seem to be made by kind of little hose companies here and there hell supply the bits and these local manufacturers make some in fact uh, when the brake lines arrived I noticed there was actually a New Zealand based distributor of, of hell lines that's this place New Zealand automotive distributors uh, brands they make hell brake lines as you can see um, and apparently they're an online outlet for clutches, brakes, water pumps, wheel bearings and more. But the only problem is when you go and check out that online service, we go from Alpha to American Motors to BMW, so there's no Audi in there. And we stop at T for Toyota. So you kind of lose confidence that they're going to supply what you want. Alright, so we gave up on the local partly because we didn't know they existed. Uh, we're going for DAG hose supply. As I said, top guy. It's over here in Dawlish. As a kid, we used to come on holiday to places like Budley, Salterton. Uh, where else do we end up? Further down, Salcombe and all these places. In fact, for a long time, my dad used to work down in Chard. So... I'll call it a local supply for me in terms of memories of my childhood, but well, that's fine. Uh, I grew up somewhere over here, further up the um, M5, not Witchhaven, that's around here, Morven Hills, but anyway, enough of that. Uh, so DAG, check him out, he's on Facebook, you can message him there, he'll reply in minutes. Uh, he sells via eBay, so find him there, but yeah. Top guy, top place to buy, top quality hoses. So this is how the hoses come, they come in a nice box with some horns moulding into it. Um, 
the VR6, it's the six line kit. Now these are the fronts. And look, they're kind of pretty flash, they're kind of really well made from the looks of it. Nice kind of heat shrink tubed. Even got fittings that should mirror the OEM. We've got a banjo fitting at one end. One of them female doohickeys at the other. Come with new banjo bolts, new copper washers, uh, six line kit as I said. We've also got two for the rear, one that goes over the rear axle, which makes double female. Short one and one that goes to the caliper. I opted for black, you got a choice of 16 colours. I went for black. Um, comes with new washers too. Uh, he also made my the new clutch line, which is purple. Clutch line should always be purple. And uh, they come with a lifetime warranty. You get a warranty card. And yeah, they're pretty nice. Look really solid. The coating means you're not going to get any grit caught up in the um, in the braid. It should last forever. They all say hell on them, so you know it's a hell hose. Really impressed with that quality. Should do a great job. Oh, so the car supported, all four wheels are off the ground. Got some jack stands under there. Uh, so what tools are we going to need? Well, don't want to make a mess, so we've got a drain pan. Got some brake fluid. It's my favourite Valvoline 5.1. Good stuff. A uh, couple of spanners. 17 and a 14. Flare nut wrench, 11 mil. A couple of hose clamps, which we may or may not use. One man bleeding kit. Some brake cleaner. And that should be about it. Just going to make sure the uh, master cylinder is fully topped off. Um, supposedly, if you run out of fluid on one of these, you have to use Vagcom or a scan tool to bleed the ABS pump so we'll try and avoid that we're going to top up the master cylinder before we start keep it topped up for uh, now apparently if you clamp the brake pedal down with a 2x4 whatever that is a bit of wood and it stops the fluid from leaking out. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to use one of them. Pedals clamp down. We'll see how that works for us. Right, so the drain pan underneath will give the uh, banjo bolt on the Connector. Right, even though hopefully we're not going to lose any fluids, uh, we're still going to get prepared. So we've got the new line, one of the front ones. Banjo belt and two copper washers. Have them on standby. 14mm on the bottom to keep it tight. 11mm flare on the top to crack the line off. Certainly that trip, trick seems to work and we're not dripping any fluid anywhere, so... Okay, that's the first hose off. I ended up taking the um, bracket off as well, but it was just easy to do that. That's where this hose has failed, there's just a slight bulge just here. Bloody good eyes, my own. Off test has got, but good on him. Quite happy to fail a warrant on that. Right, one important thing for when fitting braided hoses is to get the these supports in the right place. Um, obviously they're not they don't have a moulded support that doesn't move, you have to set it up right. So 
quite important to make sure you kind of check steering lock to lock after you've done it so really any stress on the new lines that's one way they will fail really easily so you yeah, just need to make sure you got it all in the right place we're going to start by just loosely adding put in the banjo fitting where it should be of course it could, could turn the wheel get it where i can see it Bit of a bugger, the supplied um, supplied banjo bolts are the wrong, wrong thread. Well, it looks like we're going to be okay reusing those bolts. I'll get some, I'll get the correct one sent. But, uh, that looks alright to me. So we're reusing the banjo bolts. Which, yeah, again, it's one of the issues when you don't, don't stick with where we are. I'm not going to do that touch for the moment. Charlie wakes up. So I'm gonna go sort that. That's the front one installed. Uh, I spoke to Dave, the hose guy. He said it's quite unusual to have this particular thread on the VR6. It looks said it looks like um, whatever thread pitch times 1.0. It should normally be 1.5. Uh, it could be because this is a um, Japanese market vehicle maybe, not too sure, not like fairly standard AC calibers to me, but and so we're just going to reuse those banjo bolts, they fit fine, no problem. Uh, I've put the bracket back on with the hose going through it, got it sat there nicely, both ends are nice and tight. Uh, I'll get on and do the, I'll do the other side off camera, uh, have a look at the rears now, and then um, lead it out. So for the rears we've got this short pipe that goes to the caliper. I've also got this little hose that goes over the, the axle. That's that little fella done. Easy. That's that one. Uh, focus, you fuck. Well, I'll crack onto the other side. Okay, that's all six done. Um, see, both fronts were starting to give in the same place. Uh, so I could have actually failed on both of those, but as I say, they're pretty hard to spot. There's just a wee bit of. A wee bit of a bulge, probably it's big when you put some pressure on there. The other lines look okay, no real, there's no cracks or anything else, but uh, they're 18 years old, so it'd be good to get them off. Um, the next will get bleeding. So this is the bleeding sequence according to the Haynes manual. A bit unconventional, but we'll uh, go with that. Brakes are bled, wheels are on, all talked up. Let's um, go for a rip snot, see what it feels like. Yeah, I think I've got some more bleeding to do. <laughs> a lot of metal travel. Let's head home and sort that out. Well, I've just bled it all through again, it seems to have a much, much more positive pedal. Let's try the 
this again, eh? Yeah, that works. stops and it's actually brakes have improved dramatically so there we go brakes are all done and uh, they seem to work a fair bit better now uh, I took a few heavy stops for the pedal to actually to, to get a decent pedal feel which here at the car guys video when he installs some brakes he says talks about doing that which he says resets the master cylinder whatever that means but it certainly worked here uh, managed to lock the wheels up wasn't too keen on kind of videoing me hammering on the brakes on the public road so didn't do that you'll just have to wait to the next track day and see how the car performs but when you have one little spillage that's fine I'll mop up so happy it's in my garage not my workshop but now okay like subscribe thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next one